career video. It's probably going to be the last one for today anyway. So. All right, so we're right now. Actually, I don't even know what we're doing right now. Oh, hey, we gotta talk to Trey. Is it in there? Yup. What are you gonna do with it? I figured I'd put it on my living room shelf. You know, it's a nice reminder of our trip to hell. Seriously? No. I'm gonna use it to call the Undertaker out. I'm guessing he really wants this thing back. Why would you do that? You already beat him. But no one else knows that. If I want to earn the respect, pun intended, of the locker room and WWE universe, then I need to beat him again in front of an audience of actual living human beings. Now that I've had a week to come down off the Shango dust, I'm a little less sure about all this. So just... Be careful, okay? I will. And who knows, if I can lure him into a match, maybe it'll be so big my real parents will finally show up. Crazier things have happened this past week. Yeah. Maybe. Hmm, alright, well, that's, uh, something. Go to ring. Yeah, we'll do that. Trey is in the ring with what appears to be the Undertaker's urn. I have no idea what's happening, but this should be good. You're probably wondering how I acquired this. But I'm going to save those details for some other time, mainly because you probably wouldn't believe me. But long story short, I went through hell to get it. Literally. So Undertaker, if you want a shot at taking this back, You'll have to face me at Survivor Series in a... Last ride match, why not? Now come out here and accept my challenge. Come on, why not? answer me. What's wrong? You too embarrassed to show your face after what I did to you in the plains of purgatory in front of your hordes of undead? I told you it was a crazy story. Oh shit. Uh not entirely sure you would want to do that. This is unbelievable. We haven't seen the dead man in years. At Survivor Series, you will not survive. But you will. Rest in peace. Trey's name is on that tombstone. Trey looks like he might be regretting his decision to summon the Undertaker from the dark side. Nonetheless, I can't wait for Survivor Series. Me neither. It might be the last time we ever have to see Trey. Okay. Well, this should be interesting. Welcome to 
Survivor Series, where later tonight we have an epic last ride match between Trey and the returning Undertaker. Yeah, and if facing the feed off wasn't intimidating enough, he's dead set on regaining possession of his urn that Trey somehow acquired. Look, assuming this goes how I think it will, Trey won't need to worry about how he's getting to the next town. He'll be leaving here in a hearse tonight. All right, we're here at Survivor Series. I guess we're facing Undertaker. I'm just going to skip Taker's entrance because it's too, very long. You have to wonder, what does Trey have to gain in a match like this? While the rest is certainly Super high, kick. So is the he dodged it, but he still got one. It's unlikely, but if Trey could defeat The Undertaker, that would go a long way in solidifying his status as one of the top WWE superstars in recent memory. I think there's a better chance Saxton wins Commentator of the Year. Wait, you really didn't have a shot this year? No, no, I sure don't. Oh, man. Escapes in a nick of time. Sling blade, Sling blade to The Undertaker. And it's got The Undertaker. Oh, 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 oh. Muddle is being stomped to Taker's chest. Super kick to the Undertaker. He better turn the tide. Extreme rules leave no room for error. And now the Undertaker. Wait a minute. Chris Alexander goes underneath it on a clothesline. And now he's stomping Taker's chest again. The stomp in every single part of his body. Wow, can't believe the Undertaker got out of that one. Super kick to the Undertaker again. And a moon sold off the ropes. He's got to take our schoolboy into it. And it's a Gary. In the lead up to WrestleMania 34, we no, have it, no oh, evidence of the Undertaker oh, making an appearance. Oh, and despite desperate attempts by John Cena to bait him, the dead oh. man remained in the darkness until the very last second. And now wait a minute. The Undertaker showing such oh. creativity. Exiting the ring. Very interesting game plan here. Now Taker's got a Recall chair. Oh, and a crossbody. For a long time, we were left to wonder if we had seen the last of the Undertaker in a match. We wondered if John Cena would get away with not only questioning the mystique of the Phenom, but also questioning his manhood. But if his career has taught us anything, it's that the dead man will continue to emerge when we least expect it. Bravado made way for fear rather quickly inside of Cena, once he heard that gong echo through New Orleans. Uh-oh. Look at this! Uh-oh is right. And take her with a... Oh! oh take her with a fallaway slam. Boom! <laughs> oh, it a... It a tackle right into the apron. Oh. 
I know Chris Alexander right after the Undertaker. Make it over. And now the oh. And he's got the Undertaker. Oh, he's just assaulting the. Oh God. He's just assaulting the Undertaker. Just a barrage of stops. Anyway. Absolutely. He's got Taker DDT on the DD, DDT on the floor. He's taking charge here. Taker throws him back in the ring. And the Undertaker the Dragon Sleeper. Dragon Sleeper by the dead man. But oh First Alexander gets out of it. And Undertaker. Oh, wait a minute. Last ride. And Undertaker. I mean, Chris Alexander kicks out of the last ride. For sure, Undertaker. Okay. And now the Undertaker. Oh! Treading all over their opponent. Now Chris Alexander's got the Undertaker. Oh! What a kick! Wow! Can't believe the Undertaker got out of that one. Oh, and a back elbow to the dead man. This is a big risk. Will it pay off? Oh, Alexander wants to go to the top rope. Double stop. No, the Undertaker moved. The Undertaker moved out of the way. Incoming. And the Undertaker throws him out of the ring. Perhaps he's thinking the ring can't contain what he has in mind here. Oh, no, he's got Taker. Wait a minute. Oh! A Samoan driver to the Undertaker. He leaves out of the way. Now he's he's uh, trying to escape the Undertaker. I, there is that hearse up there on the stage. I think that's where he wants to go. There's that hearse down there. Thinking maybe that's where Chris Alexander wants to go. Is towards that hearse that's right there. Super kick to the Undertaker. Wow, can't believe the Undertaker got out of that one. Oh, good night. Sure. Big reversal. And here we go. And he's got Taker. No, no, not on the not on the outside. No. Oh god. Is this it? Is Trey going to the face pull this off? lifting underhook face buster to the Undertaker? And he throws him in the hearse. And he closed the door. Chris Alexander has beat the Undertaker. And
Rolls we got here. And that's how we opened a portal to the netherworld and summoned the Undertaker to the Earth Realm so I could defeat him and cement my Hall of Fame legacy. Uh, we're fine, thanks. I told you they wouldn't believe it. You know what? <laughs> I, none of that crazy stuff ever happened. I, I mean, sure, I, I beat the Undertaker. You all witnessed that. But, but could you imagine all that other wacky stuff? <laughs> and marsh ladies and Papa Shango. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. Joke's on you. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's get back to things that actually happened. Like when I was the longest reigning women's champion of the modern era, holding the SmackDown Live Women's Championship for over two and a half years. Our record breaking SmackDown Live Women's Champion is ready to address the WWE Universe. Since I defeated Mickey James over two and a half years ago, I've had the privilege of defending this championship against the very best female competitors in WWE. But when you're the longest reigning women's champion in the modern era, it's only natural you start to look for new ways to challenge yourself. And considering it's a little wild west around here right now with no GM, I figured this was my chance to do that. So I thought about doing an open challenge, but that's a little played out. I could force myself to win with the four or five count, maybe, or I could do something really unprecedented and defend my title against male superstars. So what do you think? It's Becky Lynch and her savages. Uh, nothing good ever happens when they come around. Well, that's your opinion, Saxton. Personally, I think they're one of the best things going today on SmackDown Live. Well, whether you like them or not, you can't deny the influence they have over WWE. I'm not arguing with that. Ever since Becky Lynch took control of this faction, she's pretty much been able to do whatever she wants, except for taking that SmackDown Live Women's Championship away from Red. I have a feeling that could change real soon. So you want to give yourself new challenges like five counts or facing men? Well, I have a better idea. How about you forget all that and face the man? <laughs> it's funny you still throw around that title after all these years. I mean, I'm the one who's held an actual title longer than anyone since the 1970s. So I'm pretty sure that makes me the man. <clears throat> I am the man because I'm the leader of the most powerful force this sport has ever seen. And that's when there's someone in charge. So just think of what we're capable of when no one's steering the ship. So unless you want to find out what happens when we have free reign, I suggest you give me my title match tonight. If you didn't hear me the first time, 
I'm looking for new challenges, not rematches against played out losers I've already beat. And you and your crew trying to intimidate me isn't going to change that. Besides, everyone knows you're just all bitch and no bite. Oh, well, if you're not gonna give me a title match, then I'll just have to beat one out of you. Boys, little help. I'm gonna show Red here my bite. Red is severely outnumbered here. So far, Red's holding her own. Not anymore. Becky Lynch is showing Red that she's not just all talk. Here comes Trey to help his best friend. I admire his courage, but Trey has no chance against these guys. It's, it's four on one. I told you, Becky and her savages are one of the best parts of SmackDown Live. It's clear that unless she can somehow even up the sides, Red faces an uphill battle to hold on to her SmackDown Live Women's Championship. I think you're looking at the man who's going to end Red's record-breaking title reign. We gotta get even with Becky and her savages. How are we gonna do that? We're at a five on two disadvantage. We saw what happened out there, and we wanna help. Great. Where were you 15 minutes ago? We all had severe simultaneous leg cramp syndrome, or SSLCS. It's a real proven medical condition that can occur when superstars team as long as we have, and their body's ailments become synchronized. Uh, I don't think they're buying it. Look, the truth is that we didn't want to get involved in your business. And we know sometimes certain people can be a bit stubborn about wanting to do things on their own. He's talking about you. Nah, it could be anyone. It's fine. I know I'm stubborn, but I'm not stupid. I can recognize when we need help, so we'll take it. Thank you. So do we do like a secret New Day handshake now or something? How about you two rest up and next week we'll see what we can do about Becky and her crew. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Oh, leg cramp acting up again. Uh, you guys feeling it too? You can stop that now. Not long after my issues with Becky Lynch heated up, SmackDown Live filled its open GM position. We were excited to see who it was. Well, until we saw who it was. Brooklyn Von Braun is the new GM of SmackDown Live. Apparently she's traded MMA and Hollywood for WWE. This is crazy. This isn't crazy. It's genius. Thank you. 
I'm so excited to be the new general manager of SmackTown Live! Did you just come out here, interrupt us, and say SmackTown Live? She definitely said that, and I have 2020 hearing. Ah, uh, you're off to a good start as GM. Please, continue. Knowing that I was up for this gig, I watched the show last week for the first time, and I have to say, I didn't like what I saw from you, Red. Instead of accepting Becky Lynch's challenge, you resorted to cheap insults, which led to Becky having no choice but to defend herself. So, Red, you said last week you wanted new challenges? Well, I have one for you. You're going to defend your women's championship in the first ever best out of five team match. It will be a one night series of singles matches between Red, Trey, and your buddies The New Day, taking on Becky Lynch and her savages. If Red's team wins the series, she retains her title. If Becky's team wins, she is the new SmackDown <coughs> Live women's champion. She just said it again. The All right, I'm back. Your show what a, I don't know what I missed, Smackdown but. SmackDown Live. Say it with me. Smack down. Town makes more sense, but whatever. Guys, guys, we're losing track of the fact she just put us in a best out of five series for Red's title, which seems super unfair. I mean, who would do such a thing? Who? 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 Hey, I know we formed an alliance, but that's kind of our thing, okay? With all due respect, you're really stacking the deck against Red, so I have an idea that would help even things up a bit. You give our team home field advantage. That's right. If Red's putting her title on the line under these circumstances, then the series should take place on our turf. What kind of turf are we talking? Synthetic or natural? Because I prefer a natural tall fescue. I meant more of a New Day home arena vibe, but we could look into the fescue. I like what you're thinking, except Becky's team should have an equal opportunity to secure home field advantage. So later tonight, it will be Red and a team member of her choosing versus Becky and a partner of her choice. The winner of that match will earn home field advantage for their team in the best out of five series. Who's it gonna be, Red? Yeah. yeah. Who? 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 That was a test. You passed. Good Ooh. job. There's really not a bad choice, unlike the choice of Brooklyn as GM. Ooh, she just Ooh. laid the smackdown on her. <laughs> so I'm going to team with. No, let's do Biggie. Great decision. Ooh, I can smell the sweet aroma of tall fescue headed our way. Home field advantage is on the line later tonight on SmackDown Live. All right, well, I don't really know what I missed. Yeah, I don't really know what I missed, so. So I chose Biggie.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from New York, Maria. And this is still. Omega. This is it. This is the match we've all been waiting for. And the electricity level in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt. Guys, I don't recall the last time I saw these. We got red. Oh, or, or we got Omega. Good shit. Okay, good shit. Okay, well, anyway. Don't you dare be sour. Clap for your longest reigning tag champs and feel the power. It's New Day. Here comes Biggie. And representing the new tag from Me and Biggie, Red or Omega, and Biggie versus Q Lynch. In the face of the Irish last kicker. And Becky Lynch and who has she chosen? In Bauer? Oh, snap. She chose Finn. All right. I can work with that. Here comes Balor Club. I like how he's wearing a little WrestleMania 34 attire. Even though this game takes place the year after WrestleMania 34. <laughs> From Bray, with... uh, uh, uh. All right, sorry about that. Right now, Live's new GM has put Red in a situation like we've never seen before. She and her partner as Red win the hunt, win the matches, get home, build All right. The five series between Red's team and Becky Lynch's savages with the SmackDown Live Women's Championship on the line. I am still shocked that Brooklyn Von Braun is the new GM, so I can't imagine how Red and Trey must feel. They've been rivals with Brooklyn since they were teenagers. Brooklyn Von Braun is an accomplished professional. I'd be very surprised if she let an age-old high school grudge get in the way of her job as general manager. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Stringing together some big moves here. She has become relentless at this point. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Driver. Becky Lynch may be in trouble here. Beautiful elbows. Oh, downward elbows. Spitting yeah. back kick. The opposition. And now. Oh. Terrible. Becky Lynch just too fast for her. All oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. Lynch. Oh, she's got Becky. Ripcord Spanish fly. Double super kick to Becky Lynch. Double leg takedown. Stop. And, oh, oh, and the takedown double foot stomp. That's Finn Balor's move right there. Well, that double. move right there was, was Finn Balor's move. Package driver. And she heads to the floor. Probably looking to take a few deep breaths. Think about her next move. Right oh, the double the super neck. kick. A, Double super kick again. And when her, oh, she dives onto Becky Lynch on the outside. Bringing it back into the ring. Mm. Super kick, no. By Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch with a reversal, but Maria Omega comes back with a. Becky Lynch just too fast for her. Oh, double super kick again. And Becky. Hammerlock. Hammerlock reverse DDT. DDT. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. 
Oh, oh, oh. Oh. No, wait a minute. Oh, the, the three amigos. A version she borrowed from Peyton Royce. And, oh. Oh, she's got Becky Lynch to stop. That can certainly do it. Does Becky Lynch even know where she is? Why am I doing that? Oh, heavy duty right hand. Big Bauer gets knocked off the apron. Pull for the cover on Becky. One, two, three. Maria Omega and Biggie win to get the home field advantage. For this best out of five series. in there. Welcome to a very special New Day right. themed event where Reigns Smackdown Live Women's Championship is on the line in a best of five series. This looks like an yeah. arena that was designed by a four-year-old in sync. Well, it's wrong. Too much pace. <laughs> Stay classy, New Day. It's different, but I kind of like it. No doubt that you do. Welcome, right. everyone, to the best of five series for the Smackdown Live Women's Championship. Well, our team, as you might hey. have noticed, here's New Day. Field event. Do you like what we've done with the place? Ooh, look at the tall fescue ramp. It's amazing. This is the best looking setup for a show since they used to bring Mr. McMahon's home to the In Your House events. Wait, what did you just say? Yeah, yeah, you know how they used Mr. McMahon's home as the old In Your House entrance? My uncle knew a security guard who knew a janitor who knew a concession stand worker who worked at one of the arenas and he told him that it was Vince's actual house. We need to have a talk later. Guys, guys, we could continue to dilly-dally or we could get things started with the first match. I'm normally a strong proponent of dillying and dallying, but I think we should get to some action. In that case, let's kick things off with our first contest of the evening. You're up, Kofi. We're going to get the best of five series started with Kofi Kingston taking on the bruiser weight, Pete Dunne. Oh, I snap. doubt Pete Dunne or any of Becky Lynch's savages have ever competed in an arena like this before. Yeah, only in their worst nightmares. This place looks like New Day's storage unit threw up. And if I have to stare at these bright colors all night long, I might too. So it looks like Kofi's starting things off with Pete Dunne. Peter Doom. <laughs> Pete Dunne's hair looks so fake in this one. I'm not even trying to lie, but Pete Dunne's hair looks fake in this one. Hey, once this loads up, I have to go do something. Just this like match this. is huge in the sense that whoever wins. All right, I'll be right back in like a few minutes.
has come back. Wins will give their team an important 1-0 advantage in the best of five series. Yeah, these series are all about establishing momentum. You want to put pressure on the other team and make them feel like their backs are up against the wall. You both might be putting a little too much significance into this. It's just the first match. If a team takes a 2-0 lead, then we'll talk. Uh-oh, look at this. Oh, boy. Well scouted reversal there. Uh, now it's an Uncle Driver. He skirts away, living to fight another day. Monkey flip. By Kingston. WWE made history in 2017 with a tournament to crown the inaugural United Kingdom champion, which I was lucky enough to call in person. And in that tournament, this man, Pete Dunne, emerged as the next can't-miss superstar. Look at this. Diving oh, leg drop. The power of positivity is fueling Kofi. Stringing together some big moves here. Oh. Quick roll-up. Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. Oh, wow. What a windmill kick. Oh, foot just stomping down. Here it goes. Uh-oh. Oh, He's on his heels a bit now. He's lost oh, much of his early confidence. Oh, no luck against Dunn there. Too quick. Trouble on the mind. Turning it around, it's Kofi Kingston with the reversal. Pow, what a it's shot. Stomping and keep on down. Oh, right Kicking to the kidneys. Golly. Oh, Bang. right to the back. Small package, this could be it. Plenty of fight left. Oh, man, I don't know who to root for. Ooh, no luck against Kingston there. Go. Watch oh, out oh, here. Oh, for trouble, Panos, don't call him. There it is. That is a game changer. It is so easy. Uh-oh. Here. Come. Here comes the bruiser. Roll. I can't believe this is happening. Oh, I can't. I, it's oh. absolutely nuts. Got him caught. Uh oh. Dragon screw. With the damage sustained by Dunn, he could be on his way out. Yeah, I don't even think he knows where he is. The bruiser weight is going to have a tough time punching his way back into this. Trouble and we are done here. Going. But now, can Kingston make the most of this? Kobe. No, he's got the win. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. oh man, Don is in no. He done kicked out of the SOS and trouble in paradise. Trying to get it early with a small package. He done trying to get in early. And Not Kingston early, but kick out. Gonna take more than that to take down Kingston. And with a Kamara lock, trying to break Kingston's arm. Oh, and he slips out. Kingston wow, rolls through. Like you had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. Kingston, wait. Don't move the axe blocks and Kingston counters. Kofi Kingston. Chase of the double foot stomp. From Kofi. Nothing is going to stop him now. King Kofi or the double foot stomp. He's got done again. Another SOS. One, two, three. Kingston. Kofi has beaten Pete Dunn. One to zero. In this best out of five team series.
biggie. Oh. I have more my player points to send. Or attribute points to spend or whatever. do my best to help defend the SmackDown Live Women's Championship against Sheamus, which is something I never thought I'd say. It's a strange situation that Brooklyn put us in, but I appreciate the help. At least we're already up 1-0, so we have the advantage. That's right. Undefeated in our house. Whose house? Our house. Come on, whose house? Our house. Whose house? Our house! Yeah, much better. This man, Biggie. This man. Man, Biggie, bro. Anyway. You couldn't just leave Trey and I alone and let us have our success in WWE, could you? Do you really want to do this now? Because if I were you, I'd be doing everything in my power to try to hold on That's to That's kind of out of my hands at this point, thanks to you in this ridiculous series. You see ridiculous, but I see innovative. I've broken the mold with everything I've done in my life, so don't expect that to stop now that I'm GM of SmackDown Live. All right, we're just going to go to the match then. I'm just gonna skip these entrances. I don't really care about them.
as match two of the series gets underway, I don't want to lose perspective on just how unique this situation is. We have Big e Why is Sheamus' hair short? Over the SmackDown Live uh, um, guys, look at Sheamus' hair. Um, I mean, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad, though. But, but why? Axe handle finds its target. Big E is putting those hips to work. Watch out, E train might be pulling into the station. I'll give credit where credit's due. The chance for Big E are definite. The WWE Universe certainly agrees that New Day rocks, and this powerhouse is a major reason for that. But ugh, I feel sick after acknowledging that. Oh, There's his hair. Oh my god, guys. Look, look, his hair. Look. See the hair on his head? Look over here where I'm standing. His hair is like right here. Oh god. Sherman suplex into his own hair. The hell, bruh? Look, his hair's still floating in the air. Big ending. Bro kick. Sheamus gets the win, and more importantly, the series is now tied up in a win each. Going down 2 0 would have been a disaster for Becky Lynch and her Savages, but now it's a whole new series. Oh my god, Sheamus' hair. What the hell? I don't know if y'all saw that, but if you looked on the right side of the screen during that whole match, Sheamus' hair was like, like most of Sheamus' hair, except for what was on his head, was floating up in the air. I tell you, floating. Floating. I'm just gonna go to the next match. It's probably like Xavier versus McIntyre, or some shit like that. We are at Sheamus and Biggie and Dunn and Kingston, so it's probably gonna be like Woods and Biggie or Trey and Big or Trey and McIntyre, Biggie and Balor, not Biggie and Balor, Woods and Balor. I don't freaking know. I don't know, bro. I just, I don't know. Anyway. Well, Woods hasn't been in a match yet, so that's probably who this is. Woods and Bauer. What, exactly what I predicted. Put Finn to yellow health, or get Finn to yellow health. I can do that. From taking both the series to SmackDown Live Women's Championship. I think this is where we start to see the experience and cohesiveness of Becky Lynch's Savage's takeover. Even though these are singles matches, Red and Trey barely know the new day. And if things start to go south, they could all fall apart. I have to agree with Corey. We know Red and Woods. Trey are tight. And oh, Fisherman's Neckbreaker by Woods. For a very long time, but I question the kind of bond the five of them have been able to create in just a few weeks. And then backbreaker looks like Red's backbreaker. Or Maria Omega's backbreaker, I should say. a superstar dedicated to giving back where he came from. Finn, Becky Lynch, and Sheamus' success in WWE helped trigger a growth in wrestling in Ireland. Xavier Woods showing that technical side. Dukin. Strike. Woods hammering in on Finn. Throws him out. Finn Balor lands hard. Finn might be hurt. Oh, Finn. Finn might have tweaked his knee. Finn might have tweaked his knee right there. Wait a minute. What's Pete Dunn doing out oh, here? Oh, Dunn. He done. Cross body. Cross body to Xavier Woods. 
And Finn Balor suddenly recovers. He's going to the top. And Finn. And Balor, wait a minute. He's going for it. Coup de Gras. It's Coup de Gras. Was Finn Balor ever really hurt? Or was this just a setup by Becky Lynch and her savages? This is unbelievable. It's... The entire series just turned on that interference. Hey, what was I saying earlier about Team Cody? It's 2-1 now. That's exactly how it pays off. And now Becky Lynch has the opportunity to beat Red and win it all. It's two one now. Oh, go to Red's match. Oh, so it's going to be Red and Becky now. Oh. I kind of didn't expect that. I kind of expected Trey and McIntyre to be next, and Red and Becky be the last one. Guess I was wrong. Why is Red wearing a New Day attire? Oh no. Back being up against the wall, and that's certainly the case for Red as she faces Becky Lynch down two. Maria Omega. Series and her championship on the line. That's what I was saying about this series being unfair for Red. She can defeat Becky Lynch, but still lose her title if Trey were to go down in the final match. Or Becky Lynch can beat Red right now, making this whole discussion pointless. I suggest we see what happens before anyone starts a protest. No, another reversal. Neither one of them are willing to give an inch here. Hold on, guys. This isn't good. Becky Lynch, top rope. That exploder from the top rope. Cover. Shoulders down for the count. She's still in this one. Gets out of the way. And fast. That'll turn your lights out. Oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. No. Oh, no. It's a pal kick. Just sending a message there. And she's getting fired up the here. Stomps the stomps and the kicks. Is clearly turned to her favor. And drop kick. Dangerous situation here, guys. Downright treacherous. She returns the favor there. And I went. And a drop, drop kick, kick in the, the corner. Up and Standing Shiranui. Looking for the rip cord. No, no. Oh, ends a Gary to the outside. It's a Becky. Oh, and, oh, and that's Chris Alexander's move right there. Oh, no, on the on the outside. Oh, suplex. Going for another one. Going for the last one, the final one, the fisherman suplex. by Becky Lynch. Oh, 
Could this be it? Now wait a minute. And the stop. The stomp to Becky. One, two. No, she actually kicked out. She actually kicked out, bro. Bruh, no, 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 I don't like that. Becky Lynch just too fast for her. Oh, and Becky Lynch got reversed there. Uh oh. Look over the And now suplex into a neck breaker. Now she's got Becky. Falcon's arrow. All oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. Warm into the oh, capow kick. She's stomping Becky in the chest there. Multiple stops. And now the oh. No, wait a minute. Oh, and the suplexes again. And the suplexes. Nothing's gonna stop her now. Showing a lot of fury with her attacks. Becky Lynch. She's beginning to Becky Lynch through. with an, a, yeah, the Beck exploder. And another kick out. Very nice. Now wait a minute. Oh, now it's Becky Lynch making her pay. Now, oh. And Becky has to roll out. Here we go. Hurricane Rana to the outside. What distance she got there. Big mistake there, Corey. Oh, she knows that now. No, oh. oh there's the there's the cross face. This might be it. Been a while since we've seen that. She really just released the hold. But she had to release. She released it for some reason. It means she probably has something even more devastating to finish her off with. Now the oh, and the axe kick. Got a message from someone. I don't. I don't know. Voice message. And the DDT to Lynch. Oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. What a just bulldog. She's got Becky. The stop. Stop to the back of the neck. And will this be the stop? One, two, and Maria Omega has won. I think the series is tied now. I think the series is tied now. I could be wrong, but I think it might be tied now.
trays. We're in a new day attire. I'm done. I'm just gonna go to trays match. Cause like, why not? Sorry about that, guys. Um, my game kind of crashed right there. I mean, I didn't hear any noise or anything, but it crashed. So, I don't know. It looks like it's going to be Chris Alexander versus Drew McIntyre. This man's wearing a Biggie style New Day outfit. The Scottish Psycho. This is it. With the teams tied at two wins each, it all comes down to match five for the series in Red SmackDown Live Women's Champion. Oh, wait, it's like a, lot of big a matches throughout single career, professional kind of, and personal ramifications of this might be bigger than any other. Red may not talk to him for weeks if he's the reason no. her record setting championship reign comes to an end. This might be putting undue responsibility on Trey since two of his teammates lost matches earlier tonight. However, I will agree he's facing immense pressure being in this winner takes all position. And I know I certainly wouldn't want to be in right now. Ouch. He's definitely 
really being the aggressor here. He is getting fired up here. So for a simple kick in McIntyre just throws him. How impressive was that reversal? And McIntyre. Oh, he's got him out for a stalling suplex. And now McIntyre. Oh. I think I changed Drew's move. I think I gave. I think I changed McIntyre's move set as well. And Drew McIntyre with a boot. Now Drew again with another stalling suplex. Drew McIntyre has worn his Scottish heritage as a true badge of honor during his time here in WWE. He takes great pride in having been the first Scottish NXT champion and even had the New York Police Department bagpipe man play him to the ring at WrestleMania. Oh and now, God, oh. He inverted Poison Rana. Right, six, and when it, he's got McIntyre. Oh. My God, Small package driver. McIntyre. Oh God. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. And Alexander just stomping a mud hole in McIntyre, walking it dry. Oh, he's, he's gonna kick McIntyre in the hamstring. Oh man! And what a reversal from Drew McIntyre! And McIntyre ran right into those kicks. It is so easy to stay in touch with your superstars 24/7 in a variety of social media outlets, including WWE. The double Facebook stomp of McIntyre. McIntyre with the future shot. Drew McIntyre looking for the pin. Gets the shoulder up. He showed a up here kick out at point. one. That's exactly from Chris Alexander. See. Here it comes. He's got him. And Drew. Taking a closer look at McIntyre Scottish heritage. Rocket kick. Claymore by McIntyre. The Claymore. Drew McIntyre going for the cover. He's got plenty of gas left in the tank. And an hey, instant I kick out by know. Alexander. Oh, torturous knee. What a jumping knee. Able to avoid oh, there. oh, just oh, and then, ooh. Will. He's just striking McIntyre, taking the fight to him. Caught him right the jaw. Oh, what a shot. Drew McIntyre beginning you go, to wait, McIntyre here. throws him. Oh, he goes underneath the ropes. Chris Alexander comes back. Clothesline knocking down McIntyre somehow, some way. But he does it. And he's got McIntyre up. Oh! The former strike while Drew's in the ring. And I can do that. Watch this, watch this. And now McIntyre and Alexander. Oh, and a Glasgow's kiss by Drew. McIntyre. Oh, he hits the he hits the referee. DDT. He's going for the cover, but the referee's down. Alexander just realized we're upset. Wait a minute, Samoa Joe. Wait a minute, Samoa Joe. What the heck is that? It looks like some kind of enhanced arm. Like Samoa Joe wasn't deadly enough already. Unbelievable. This is shocking. We have not seen Samoa, Samoa Joe, Joe in like I two years. I never thought we'd see him again. And he God. In half. My God. 
and McIntyre's going to cover him. And now Drew McIntyre covers Trey. McIntyre covers him. Is the ref going to count, though? It's all over. Oh, Becky it's all over. Won the best of five series, and Becky is your new SmackDown Live Women's Champion. Becky like Lynch Trey's has... Throw up. Becky but Lynch is now the SmackDown Women's Champion. And Red's Championship, but the nightmare that is Samoa Joe has returned to terrorize him. I'm back, and I'm coming for you. I'm honestly stunned at what we've just witnessed, and so is Trey. This is going to send shockwaves throughout WWE. It's been like a couple of years at least since we've seen Samoa Joe. If only security had done their jobs that night, Samoa Joe never would have made it past the arena's metal detector. Sorry, just trying to keep it positive. Which is hard to do because our story wouldn't be complete without talking about one giant negative. I'm referring, of course, to the arrival of the American hero, Brooklyn Von Braun in WWE. Because of Brooklyn, our lives and careers would never be the same. Although, if you think about it, they were pretty much the same as they'd always been because no matter where we went or what we accomplished, we could never escape Brooklyn's loud, obnoxious shadow. We gave Brooklyn a lot of chances to prove she had changed. Well, mostly Trey did. But ultimately, she only proved one thing. She was the exact same bully she was way back when we were in high school. She wasn't just a jerk to us. She disrespected anyone she dealt with, including WWE legends. God, Brooklyn Von Braun's like the worst person in, in wrestling history. I don't care what anyone says, it's true. I'm starting to remember. Wasn't Triple... Yeah, Triple H is only included for like... A little bit of the, my career, not much, but a little bit. Like after the May Young Classic, that's all you see of, of Triple H. Is that all you got? Oh my it feels God! Like you're a teacup poodle for a walk on my back. Excuse me, Miss Von Braun, can we talk? Can't you see I'm conducting important GM business? Come on, I really need you to get in there, work it. It will only take a minute. What? I don't want my car washed or candy from your stupid kids fundraiser or whatever crap you're selling. Actually, I'm the original American hero, Kurt Angle. You know, the Hall of Famer you borrowed your nickname from without asking. Come back in five with stronger hands. I can't believe so they want? actually included Drake the Maverick. A picture? Tell me what I need to do to make you go away. I need you to drop the lawsuit against me. If you don't, it will bankrupt my family. No chance. I'm the way more famous American hero, and I will not allow you to continue profiting off my celebrity. I won a gold medal for my country with a broken freaking neck. What have you ever done that makes you an American hero? Uh, filed a trademark? Security! Wait, maybe we can settle this without lawyers. If there's anything that could change your mind, I'd do it. Anything? It just so happens we have a superstar who was gone for a very long time and needs to knock off some ring rust. So I'll drop the lawsuit if you can beat Samoa Joe. But Joe's a monster. He's got that bionic arm that could tear me apart. And I haven't competed in years. Samoa Joe hasn't competed in years either. So it should be a competitive match. Good luck. 
Oh, shit. Kurt Angle's got to compete against Samoa Joe. And if he wins, Brooklyn Von Braun's going to drop that lawsuit that that she put on him, I guess, for no reason. Oh my god, it's Kurt Angle and he's competing in a suit. We're actually gonna play as Kurt Angle. This is a match oh, shit. to see tonight. Kurt Angle has been retired for years. Brooklyn Von Braun's legal case against Angle has clearly caused him distress so much that he's willing to risk his well-being to get Brooklyn to drop the lawsuit altogether. But Kurt Angle should have just stopped using the American Hero nickname when he had the chance and none of this would be happening. Instead, he let his pride get in the way of rational thinking. Now he's in for a world of physical and financial suffering. He got out of the way. Launched with a belly to belly. The three eyes are on full display. This is what he feeds off of. Bang, nice contact there. He's taking some good hits. No need to panic. He's still swinging. Now Kurt Angle. Snap suplex. Ooh. Right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Enough Form already. a grapple move. Uh, Joe's in the ring. It's kind of cool how you get to play as other characters. Angle slam attempt. Joe counters. It's all over. It's Trey. He has no business being out here. Oh, you, you Kurt thought. Angle from behind. He got him. Kurt Angle has defeated Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe is living. Oh, shit. I imagine Brooklyn Von Braun is going to be too pleased either. Too bad. All that matters is Kurt Angle has got the win. And now he can officially be known again as the American hero. I like how in this my career, compared to like 2K19, 18, 17s, you actually get to play as people other than your my career characters. Like, there's the New Day, there's Kurt Angle, there's who else? There's Velveteen Dream. You get to play as him too during every tag match that you're in with him on NXT. Um. Yeah, I, I I like I I like that about this my career. I do. Since you like getting involved in my business so much, maybe you should pay all the legal bills for the lawsuit I have to drop now. Yeah? Well, you messed with us in the best of five series, and that cost Red her title. So I'd say we're even now. Is that what you think happened? I signed Samoa yeah, I just Joe heard because a chair. he was unfairly let go from WWE, not to mention he's a great addition to the roster. But I had nothing to do with him costing you the series. I don't control him. No one can. Which is something you should be very worried about. So if you're not out to get us, then prove it. Give me a rematch for my championship that I lost without ever being pinned. Let me think about that. No. That's what I thought. But what I will do is give the audience something new and fresh. Trey, you're going to face Adam Cole next week for his WWE Championship in a no disqualification match. See? Maybe I'm not so bad after all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go find someone else I can sue to recoup my losses. Oh my fucking god. I, I hate her. I hate Brooklyn. Hate her. Hate her. I want to kick her in the. I want to kick her in the face already. Honestly, I, I want to kick her in the face. I really do. Maybe even, you know, 
Re re rearrange that face of hers. Give it give it a bit of rearranging, you know what I mean? Yeah. Ew. Dang, that was a good one. Anyway. Here's Chris Alexander. I've already seen his entrance a billion times already, so. But here comes Adam Cole, who's apparently the WWE champion. Adam Cole, baby! Adam Cole doesn't look that bad with the WWE title. This is a huge opportunity tonight for Trey as he goes one on one with Adam Cole for the WWE Championship in a no disqualification match. Honestly, I'm surprised Brooklyn put Trey in this position, especially after he got involved in the Kurt Angle Samoa Joe match last week. Everyone thinks they know Brooklyn and her intentions, but she said it herself. She's made an entire career out of defying expectations. It's what led to success in mixed martial arts, and I predict it will also benefit her greatly in WWE. Oh! Uh-oh! No way! Good God! Inverted Frankensteiner! And the referee starts his 10 count. It is no disqualification, right? Cole's career, it becomes clear very quickly that this man is as brash, resourceful, and resilient as they come. And he realized a significant amount of success oh. by being that way. God. Anticipated that attack perfectly. Oh, small package driver. Oh, shows no mercy. In that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Reverses. Can he make him pay? Oh, uh, yeah. Big elbow. Adam Cole connected with a good shot there. Oh, that rocked him. Great evasion. Eludes the attack. Oh, yeah. Doing some more damage here. Michael, that is so dangerous. The champ not looking great right now. A change of strategy has to be his next move. He continues to press forward. His offense is second to none at times like this. Oh, wow, what a sequence there from Adam Cole. So resourceful. Oh, he's got the strikes in on Adam Cole. Oh, strikes. Endless. oh my lord, he used possum. And that's Adam Cole's resilience and ability to be resourceful. Those traits. Trey has Adam Cole in trouble. He wants Cole. Uh, what is Samoa Joe doing out here? Samoa Joe's here. Whoa. Wait a minute. That makes no sense whatsoever. You're a nage. What are you doing? Cover him. I'm not going to win like that. Fine. Oh. And now Samoa Joe with the attack on Trey. It seems Samoa Joe wants Trey to win the match, and he's going to do anything he can to make it happen. Count it now. Hey, Chris Alexander's WWE sure champion. What he did, but as a result, Trey is your new WWE champion. I really have no explanation for this either. As far as we know, Samoa Joe has nothing but contempt for Trey. So why would he help him win the WWE championship? Hopefully we'll get some answers soon.
And now we see what happens next. Damn it! I wanted to earn this. Now everyone's gonna look at me like I'm some kind of fluke champion. Again. I know you're frustrated, but maybe it's not that bad. Besides, if you defend it enough, then people will respect you. Seven years. Seven years ago, you took what was mine, and I never got to take it back. You know, a lot of significant life events can happen in that amount of time. Birthdays, holidays, funerals, and I miss them all. Because for over 2,500 days, one thing has consumed me. Revenge. I even augmented my body to ensure that when the time came, there would be nothing that stopped me from destroying you. So now, we're so close. I helped you win this championship for one reason only. So I can finally take back what you took from me. But that doesn't even make sense. It's not the same title. Don't! Don't say that. It's the same. It's exactly the same. Seven years, and the surgery, and the pain, and I am going to take it back. Hey, you want to tell me what that was all about? I had nothing to do with it. You think I wanted to win the title like that? I don't think you give a damn as long as you're champion. I want my rematch. I promise I'll make this right. Okay, chump. <laughs> okay, Trey, how about we do that right now? No, Trey, Trey, let's go. <laughs> Dang. That didn't even really sound like Adam Cole's voice. Honestly. Didn't even sound like Adam Cole's voice. Just just my opinion. Just my opinion. From the outside, my life looked pretty good. I was WWE champion, and I was about to team with none other than Ronda Rousey in the Mixed Match Challenge. The truth is, I couldn't enjoy any of that. I had a maniac breathing down my neck who'd spent seven years planning my demise. But at least my title defense against Adam Cole would take place in a steel cage, so that psychopath couldn't interfere. Or so I thought. All right, I guess we're doing a d WWE title defense against Adam Cole. Crown champion defends their title for the first time in a steel cage. But that's exactly the situation Trey finds himself in tonight against Adam Cole. Usually the purpose of a steel cage is to keep two opponents inside, but in this case, I think the intention is to keep Samoa Joe on the outside if he were to get involved. Honestly, after everything we've seen from Samoa Joe since he returned, I'm not sure this steel cage is enough to keep him at bay. Got him up! Into the neck breaker! Boom! What a forearm! Kick right to the midsection. Great agility there. And it 
Impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. Half Nelson applied. Oh, wow, what a sequence there from Adam Cole. So resourceful. DDT! He caught him slipping. Oh, what a DDT! Wow. The champ now absorbing a little damage. He needs to adapt if he wants to steal the win in that steel cage. Yeah, the WWE World Heavyweight Championship features the most dynamic superstars in the promotion. This should be a barn burner. Oh, that be it. Irish Adam Clark for her. Oh. Straight into the steel cage. Trey looks like he's in severe pain. And right on cue, just as Adam Cole seems to have this match won. Oh, wait a minute. Samoa Joe. To try to stop him. Joe slams the cage door on Adam Cole. Joe is dead set on keeping the WWE Championship on Trey so he can take it from him after not getting his rematch seven years ago. Trey with a drop kick into the cage, sending Samoa Joe crashing to the floor. Trey isn't going to sit back and let Joe help him. Well, it's admirable, I guess, but I think he should take the help. It appears Red is out here to help get rid of Samoa Joe so Trey can show he can do this by himself. Don't feed into his ego, Red. If you were a real friend, you'd let him have any help he could get. Trey is equally determined to prove he's not a fluke champion. He wants to win this match on his own. Black Mass! Lights out! Too quick to catch him there. A super Stop kick at him down. Down. He's been quickly taking control here. He's in non-stop attack mode. Oh, what a forearm. Bang. KO punch. All the way for the top. Elbow smash. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. The challenger is not in a great place. Yeah, he needs to make an oh, adjustment wait a here. He's going to oh, yeah. pull it to the cage. The championship hanging in the balance. Oh, got Double foot stomp. With the championship at stake, you know these superstars are going to give every... Are we about to see it? Boy, it's got Adam Cole. Wait a minute. Oh! The, champ the face buster. The there it is. The Chris Alexander retains on his own this time. On his own this time. He didn't need Samoa Joe's help. He did it without some Ojo's help this time. Great job defending your title against Adam Cole. Thanks. More importantly, I showed everyone I didn't need Samoa Joe's help to do it. 
You have anything left in the tank for your mixed match challenge later? Honestly, I'm running on fumes, so I'm kind of hoping Rhonda carries our team tonight. Hmm. By the way, do you even have a partner yet? No. Brooklyn's making me wait until the last minute to find out who it is. Typical. Well, whoever it is, we might have to face each other at some point, which is going to be weird. I know. But FYI, I just put win mixed match challenge on the list, and I plan on being the one who crosses it off. We'll see. We will see about that one. Oh god. Mm. Alright, we'll be right back, guys. We're gonna go and spend some more my player tree points. All right.
Alright guys, um, unfortunately, my game kind of crashed there for a second. Where's my phone? It's sitting on it. Yes, game kind of crashed on me right there, but I'm going to end the stream anyway. Um, part, I don't even know what part's next, actually. Um, but yeah, anyways, guys, um, I'll see you guys next stream. Deuces.